Let's talk about the potential upgrades for the Mind Flayers deck, starting with our commander, Captain Nathrod. Horrors you control have Menace. Whenever a horror you control deals combat damage to a player, that player mills that many cards. And at the beginning of your end step, choose target artifact or creature in an opponent's graveyard that was put there from their library this turn. Put it onto the battlefield under your control. So since we want to deal combat damage, how about we add a card like Biden of Thassa, or even Reconnaissance Mission. These do the same thing, because whenever our creatures deal combat damage to a player, we may draw a card. or even even Curious Obsession. For one blue mana we can enchant a creature. It gets plus one plus one and has. Whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. But if we didn't attack with a creature this turn, we do have to sacrifice Curious Obsession at our end step. Court of Cunning. We become the monarch when this enters the battlefield, which is great for commander. And at the beginning of your upkeep, any number of target players each mill two cards. If you're the monarch, each of those players mill ten cards. This is going to be great for a commander and giving us a ton of options to choose from. Psychic Corrosion. Whenever we draw a card, each opponent puts the top two of their library into their graveyard. Sphinx's Tutelage. Whenever you draw a card, target opponent puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. If they're both non-land cards that share a color, repeat this process, and we can also pay six mana to draw a card, then discard a card, which I don't think I've ever done, but it's really tough because if you're the opponent who's playing a monocolored deck, this is really going to hurt you. Coastal Piracy. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to an opponent, you may draw a card. Kindred Discovery. When it enters the battlefield, we can choose a creature type, and it also has whenever a creature you control of the chosen type enters the battlefield or attacks, draw a card. There's Drown in Dreams for X2 and a blue. It's an instant. If you control your commander, you can choose to do both of these, which is target player draws X and target player mills twice X. So most likely, we're going to be the player who draws X cards, and just by controlling our commander, we get to have a player mill twice, where X is the amount that we paid. Maddening Cacophony. We can pay one and a blue. Each opponent mills eight, which is awesome awesome, or if we kicked it so we paid a total of 6 mana, each opponent mills half their library rounded up which is really good. Incarnation Technique. For four and a black, it has Demonstrate, so whenever we cast this spell, we may copy it. If we do, we get to choose an opponent, and they also get to copy this spell, which is two mill five cards, then return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Sounds fun to me. Haunting Voyage. For four and two black, it's a sorcery. Choose a creature type, so we'll choose Horror. Return up to two creature cards of that type from your graveyard to the battlefield. If this spell was foretold, return all creature cards of that type from your graveyard to the battlefield instead, so we can pay 5 mana and 2 black to get all of our horrors back to the battlefield. That is awesome. If you'd like to see more potential upgrades, click this playlist right here to talk about the other three decks from Baldur's Gate. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, peace.